What's going on guys? So listen up, it's currently late October and that means the holidays are quickly approaching. It's crazy, right? That also means guys that a bunch of us will be traveling this holiday season. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys a few of my personal favorite packing tips and hacks, so stick around. Okay, welcome back. It's great to see you. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So like I mentioned a little bit ago, the holiday season is almost here. And that also means the holiday travel season is almost here. So whether it's by plane, train, or automobile, guys, the chances are you'll be needing to pack a bag at some point in just the next few months. So let's jump right into this with some of my personal favorite packing hacks. All right, first up guys, roll your clothes. Now I've talked about this in a few other videos, which I can link for you down below, but you can fit a lot more items into a bag or a suitcase by rolling them up into a nice compact bundle. You also avoid the heavy creases that happen when you flat fold your items and then stack heavy stuff on top. A side benefit to rolling is if you're transporting breakables like glass or my example, wine bottles, you can roll them up and protect them from damage. Next guys, use a sunglasses case for miscellaneous cables like phone chargers, adapters, or small corded headphones. You can also put all your heavy items like boots or something down towards the bottom of your bag or suitcase. And if you have a rolling suitcase, I would suggest putting those heavy items down at the bottom and also towards the wheels. This way when your bag is upright, all the heavy stuff won't crush everything underneath. Now, if you're only gonna be gone for a few days and you don't wanna pack a whole lot of extra items, like for example, shaving cream, use hair conditioner. It lubricates really well so you'll get a fantastic shave and also as a benefit, it won't dry your skin out like if you used regular bar soap or even body wash. Use some Ziploc freezer bags or smaller sandwich bags to enclose all of those small liquid containers that might leak or explode. This has absolutely saved my butt, especially this one time where I had some purple shampoo leak. I don't know why I felt the need to pack purple shampoo on that trip. It was pretty stupid. It won't happen again, but I'm absolutely glad I had all that stuff enclosed in a Ziploc bag because it would have been disastrous. If you're checking a bag and you also have a carry-on, try to put your valuables, some toiletries, and also a change of clothes into your carry-on if possible. This way, if the airline unfortunately does lose your checked bag, you'll at least have some clean clothes for the next day when you try to sort out why your suitcase ended up in Costa Rica when you're in Chicago. Now, speaking of bags, this one in particular is from Mahi Leather, and it's the Rally Hold All. Now, I've talked about Mahi once before, and I'm a legit fan of all of their bags. This one in particular is really cool because it's got this reinforced compartment at the bottom to help keep stuff from getting crushed. I use this area for dirty laundry, shoes, toiletries, or any liquids that I think might leak. Now, Mahi Leather is sponsoring this video and they're also giving the 40 Over Fashion viewer community a discount that's good for 30 days when you hit that link down below and also use the discount code that I'll leave down below as well. This thing comes with a one-year warranty, a 30-day money back or replacement guarantee if absolutely anything is wrong with the bag. They're made to order using premium leather and this one comes in several different colors and you can even customize this guy with your initials or someone else's initials if you give it as a gift. This would make a great gift, by the way. Another cool thing is, guys, a portion of all of their sales are donated to clean water charities in India. Now, if all of that's not enough to like this company, they also inspect their workshop and leather tannery on a regular basis to ensure impeccable working conditions and an eco-responsible approach to leather preparation. Next, use small rubber or plastic travel tubes for your shampoo, conditioner, lotions, or body wash. Now, these things are all usually under 100 milliliters to meet TSA requirements. And if you put them all in a Ziploc bag, they can be visible and they won't ruin everything else in your bag if one does decide to leak. Also guys, if you stay at a hotel that uses good quality shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, Keep all that stuff for your next trip. You can even ask the front desk or housekeeping to stock you up with more about the day before you check out and then you can bring all of those with you on your next trip. Now, if you bring a lot of electronics with you on your trip, maybe think about getting a small power strip. Now, you've probably seen the long ones that have about six outlets. 
I would suggest getting a small three outlet power strip. This way you can plug everything in and charge your items while only occupying one outlet in your hotel room. Now, if your destination is to a colder climate, wear your heaviest jacket on the airplane. You can always take it off if you get warm, but having it on you saves a ton of space in your bag. Another thing that I do is I'll pack my shoes into a bag, but I will also bring one or two extra plastic like grocery bags with me for dirty clothes and wet items like swimsuits. Also bring a small thin wallet with the only essential cards that you'll need. This way you can put your wallet in your front pocket to help avoid theft and to help avoid your wallet from falling out of your back pocket on the airplane seat. There's been several occasions where the guy next to me on the plane had his wallet fall out of his back pocket and I had to grab it for him and give it back when he got up. Now, these aren't necessarily packing related, but I would encourage you to load up on vitamin C before you go to help boost your immune system so hopefully you don't get sick from traveling. Also guys, if you're a movie watcher on the airplane, give yourself plenty of time the day before you leave to download any movies or shows that you wanna watch on the airplane. This way, you're not rushing around the morning you're trying to leave, trying to download movies or TV shows because it always seems that Wi-Fi is the slowest when you're in a hurry. Next up, guys, bring an empty water bottle with you and then fill it up once you get past security. That way, you don't have to buy the expensive bottles of water in the airport and you'll have something to drink on the airplane. By the way, gentlemen, feel free to blast away at that subscribe button and then you can join me on a regular basis because I'm here twice a week on Sundays and Thursdays. Also, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if I missed anything or post some of your own personal packing hacks that you've come up with on your own. I'd love to read what you guys are doing. Also guys, be sure to check out Mahi Leather at that link I'll leave down below and I'll see you in just a few days for a brand new video. But until then, fellas, be good to yourself.